Hello, this is a video about Ezos Deploying Manager. It is a dedicated solution to equip dozens of different machines in SimNet with the Windows operating system image. So you no more need to go in front of every single PC to install Windows. The process of installing the program is very common, nothing special. The trial version is able to deploy system to two machines for test. If you need to handle more, to purchase the same amount of licenses equal to the machine's quantity is required. Each deployment to machine will permanently consume a license. There are four necessary jobs that need to be done prior to a real system deployment task. To create a WinPE ISO image file, the file is used to boot the target machines to actually run the system deployment. The program will guide you where to download it. To enable PXE server to make sure target PCs are able to be loaded from the WinPE file, you'll need a DHCP server configured in your NAN in order to enable this service. To add the target PCs with the Unix MAC address, either adding a single PC or a batch of them by importing an edited. TXT file are both accepted here, as there are a lot of different ways to figure out what a MAC address is for a computer, like Windows IP config command. To create a system image file for the master configured PC, the image file extension is PBD. You are able to get it with any version of ESOS to do backup, the powerful backup software from ESOS 2. To actually start a deployment, click on Deployment and Create. First, you need to decide which PCs are going to be deployed in current task. Selecting PCs from the list created in Step 2 or newly ending PCs with their MAC address are both available. It is also possible to simply deploy a task to all computers without specifying any MAC address. Second, complete the configuration page with correct details, like where the create image file located, driver file for the new and important hardware on target PCs, and some other configurable options at the bottom. After you save the settings, then there will be a task for a specific group of PCs in your NAN, but it will not run until you manually make the target PC group from network card. An all created task can be paused, resumed, or even further modified in product homepage. The execution progress and result on each machine are all be able to be monitored here too. If there are still unclear points about how to use this solution, we have a user manual here, or you can directly contact us via email or online live chat service. Thank you for watching.